Another month has kicked off, so a whole bunch of new games are, of course, coming to Game Pass, and we're going to talk about them right now. So let's get started. Welcome back to Direct Gaming. Thanks for checking out this Game Pass video. If you're new to the channel, we're all about bringing you positive Xbox content, helping you find your next favorite game on the Xbox Game Pass and bringing you all the latest Xbox news. So let's kick off because this is an absolutely loaded couple of weeks coming up at the start of November, starting off, well, yesterday, November 2nd, Minecraft is coming to Xbox Game Pass for PC, both Bedrock and Java editions. Now this is a game obviously that needs no introduction from Mojang Studios and on Windows 10 and 11 you're going to be able to play either version of Minecraft and it's cross play with all the other consoles and mobile so check that one out if you haven't already played Minecraft I mean who at this point hasn't played Minecraft. Also on November 2nd was Unpacking Day 1 on Game Pass from Witch Beam Studios and Humble. This is like a zen puzzle game where you're like unpacking stuff and setting up rooms it's a day one title on cloud console and PC and it's already getting really, really good reviews. I saw the developer tweet that it's like in the top five games on Steam right now, which is just huge. It's got 84 on Metacritic on the Switch and the Xbox version only has one score so far, which is an eight out of 10 from IGN. So this one looks really cool. It looks really cute and really relaxing. This is definitely one to check out if you want a break between games as like a palate cleanser. Check that one out, it's out right now. On November the 4th, so by the time this video releases, it should be out, is It Takes Two coming to cloud, console, and PC through EA Play. This one's from Hazelight Studios and obviously published by EA. It's another co-op game from Joseph Farris who brought us a way out and has this like real passion for couch co-op and online co-op as well. And it's a game you have to play with somebody else. It's a really incredible action platformer about a couple going through divorce. And it is really highly acclaimed with an 89 on Metacritic for Xbox Series X. This is one you do not want to miss. I'm definitely going to be downloading this tomorrow and playing that one because it is meant to be one of the best games of 2021. Also on November the 4th is Kill It With Fire coming to cloud, console and PC as well from Casey Donnellan Games and Tiny Build. This one is a first-person action game about hunting spiders and causing collateral damage. Assemble your arsenal of increasingly excessive weapons, track spiders across suburbia and burn everything in your path. This one is, I believe, also on like everything, like mobile and everything like that. It's got a bit of a cool vibe. It's got 78% on Metacritic. It might be a good one to check out if you want to play some indie games this November. On the 9th of November is Football Manager 22 coming to PC Game Pass and also the Xbox version coming to Xbox Game Pass. And I mean, you already know what this is. This is pretty incredible though. It is coming day one to the service for both console and PC. And Football Manager is such an in-depth simulation. It's one of the most beloved games by simulation football fans. And it coming to Game Pass is really cool. The little description says, navigate your way to the top of the footballing world as the boss of the world's greatest football teams in a tailored version of Football Manager that's been adapted for console play on the biggest stage. Build your dream squad and make the club permanently your own as you develop your career and become a managerial great. Also for the console version, you're gonna have touch controls on day one through cloud gaming, which is pretty cool. So as someone who's a big football fan, I've never gotten into these games because I just know it'll probably take up my whole life. Uh, but it's good to know it's coming day one to Game Pass for both the PC and the console version. The big one on November the 9th and November the 5th, if you have the premium pack, which we'll talk a bit about later on, is Forza Horizon 5. Now this game is my most anticipated game this year. It looks friggin' incredible. It just looks like they've brought everything from Forza Horizon 4 and amped it up a notch. It's got new adventure modes, it's got incredible graphics and sound design. Another huge suite of cars, I think there's something like 500 cars on day one. And that is coming to the service, obviously, day one from Playground Games and Xbox Game Studios. Definitely check this one out and we'll talk a little bit about the premium pack in just a minute's time. On November the 11th, GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition is dropping onto the service. And this is a really weird situation because the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition is coming out 
on November the 11th, but only the definitive edition of San Andreas is coming to Game Pass, which, which is fine. I think that's cool. That's a great game. And the definitive edition of GTA 3 is coming to PS Now in December or something like that, which is really strange that they've divvied it up that way. But you probably know what San Andreas is anyway. But if you don't, this is definitely worth a play. It looks like they've done some cool graphical upgrades. It's running an Unreal Engine now, I'm pretty sure. And the lighting looks really beautiful. It's still got like a lo almost a low poly design to the art style. And I think it looks really good. And it is such an incredible game. CJ, the protagonist, is really memorable. And it's some serious fun. Obviously, it's GTA. So you know what it's all about. But it's set in Los Santos and San Fierro. And you definitely got to play it. If you haven't played it already, I think I'll be downloading this one on day one to give it a go to see what the upgrades are like. Because it's been a long, long time since I played San Andreas. And finally is One Step From Eden coming to console and PC on November the 11th as well. This is another one from Humble Games developed by Thomas Moon Kang. And it's a strategic deck building and real-time action roguelite giving you the chance to carve a path of mercy or destruction. Fight alone or with a friend in co-op as you cast powerful spells on the fly, battle evolving enemies and collect game-changing artifacts. This one looks cool. Um, it's got an interesting design, another deck building roguelike it's just the most popular genre now for indie games so check that one out on november the 11th if you want another little roguelike deck building hit what i was saying about forza horizon 5 before is that if you purchase the premium edition of the game it's like 150 us dollars or whatever it's the full game and all the premium edition stuff which gives you access to the game on november the 5th and also includes the welcome pack the car pass the vip membership and the two expansions when they become available down the line. But if you have Game Pass and you want to play Forza Horizon early, you can just buy the premium add-ons bundle, which I think is really cool. It's about, I think, 50 US dollars, 60 Australian dollars, something like that. Definitely check that one out if you want access early. I'll definitely be jumping into Forza Horizon 5 on Friday. So add me on Xbox and we'll drive together all across Mexico. Finally, leaving on November the 15th, so halfway through the month, are a bunch of games. So check them out. And if you do want to save some cash on them, you do get 20% off before they leave the library. So Final Fantasy VIII HD, Planet Coaster, Star Renegades, Streets of Rogue, which is a really good game, The Gardens Between, and River City Girls. Definitely check those out. If you do want to pick them up, save some money before the middle of the month. And now, as always, I'm going to do my Game Pass Pick of the Week. And this game is a game that I'm absolutely hooked on at the moment. It's just insane. This is Luminaire's Remastered. It's a puzzle game from Resonaire and published by Enhance. Originally, it came out in 2004 for the PSP, but this has been updated for modern consoles and it is just, it's incredible. It's so addictive, it's super fun. It's got some great music. It's got some really trippy visuals. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. And I've put too many hours into this game recently. Let me know if you've played a bit of Luminous Remastered on Game Pass as well. That is it for this week's video. Thanks for being patient. I've been pretty quiet on here for the last few weeks, but I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers, all the people watching these videos. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for dropping your comments and subscribing to the channel. It really means the world to me. If you want to know what I'm doing and what I'm playing, follow me over on Twitter at Direct Gaming. The podcast will be back next week. Controllers and Coffee is the name. If you've never checked that out, it's a weekly podcast where me and my friend Kat talk about video games a lot. And it's great and it's fun. And we do it live every Tuesday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US, 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. I may have those times messed up a little bit, but check it out on Tuesday on the channel or catch the audio version at anchor.fm slash controllers and coffee. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all of you. If you enjoy the content that we make here, please hit the like, hit the subscribe buttons. I'll talk to you again soon. Until next time, peace.